A Texas inmate executed six years ago, now making news once again in Austin this week. An appellate court stopped the hearing to exonerate Todd Willingham yesterday. But today, members of the Texas Forensic Science Commission were critical of how their chairman has handled this case. Chris Sadegi is live at the Omni Hotel, where a somewhat heated commission meeting took place, I understand, today, Chris. And that's right, Leslie, because there are scientists on this commission who want to hear the Willingham arson case further because they say that's what this commission is designed to do. Some of them also say that the chairman of the commission, who's also a local DA, is keeping it from happening. A guilty monster. That's how Williamson County DA and chairman of the Forensic Science Commission, John Bradley, described Todd Willingham. And others sitting at the same table wonder why that opinion is coming from their own chairman. You got to wonder about his objectivity and really the appropriateness of his leadership of the commission. Stephen Saloum with the Innocence Project spoke to the commission and raised those questions about Bradley. And when other commission members voiced similar concerns, Bradley got defensive. I don't have any problem with the whole investigation. What? Uh, what I want to make sure that we do is do it in a fair process. The commission says it's their job to investigate the science concerning cases such as Willingham's. He was convicted of murdering his three young daughters in a 1991 house fire and executed in 2004. But the chairman says that case has been heard, tried, and upheld enough, and now it's becoming a political game. We have to be careful that we don't allow outside influence from people who have agendas on the death penalty to dictate what the science should mean and what it should, should turn out to be. When you make a district attorney the head of a scientific entity, he just doesn't really understand how it needs to do its work. Saloum thinks Bradley's trying to stop any efforts to exonerate a man that the state executed. But Bradley says an exoneration should be legit, and not the way it was tried this week. It's pretty ridiculous to have this court of inquiry at the time that we're doing this. I think, every, I think the public can see that, that for the sham that it is. So Bradley says he wants to do it the right way, and they are in the works, or trying to get in the works, getting the state fire marshal and other investigators to their November meeting to further discuss the Willingham evidence. We're live on the South Side, Chris Sadegi, KXAN, Austin News.